Hey everybody, my name is Jamie Lisso. I am a comedian that has been invited here to this wonderful place. It's the MMS, MMS, the MMS at MOA here at the Mall of America. And what we're gonna do is kind of walk around, meet some people, maybe meet some people that have been here before, meet some people where it's their first time here, find out what they're excited about, find out what they're not excited about, and basically we're just gonna have an awesome time. Hey guys, so we're in the lobby now of the uh, M MOA, MMS, doesn't matter. But I see Brian over there, and uh, he's the man around these parts. So I think we should maybe go check in with him and see how he's doing, and see and see what the hell he's riding on. He's got some sort of a uh, wheel. I don't know if this is like a technology thing where he's part man, part machine. But let's go find out what's going on. How's it going, Jamie? Lissa, we met earlier, but I was pretending we didn't just for camera. Oh, hi, Jamie. Dude, I would love if you did, could teach me to do that, and also just let me know where the nearest emergency room is. And so what do you what do you what is your favorite part of it besides drinking wine and having wheels on your feet? It's a family reunion, so we like seeing everybody again. You miss all these people, you haven't seen them. Some of these now it's been three years because of COVID, so it's been a long time. So it's all uh, bear hugs and everybody's really happy to see each other. So I'm gonna sneak over here. I got two guys. This is the craziest thing. What are the chances they both wear a red carpenter flannel? It's an interesting outfit. I feel like maybe later on we're gonna see some lumberjacks wearing suits. Let's head over and see what's going on. I like how you guys pick topics that are just things you wanted to do. Do you know what I mean? Like a lot of people, like like I'm gonna, I just decided I'm gonna do a talk on hookers. You know, just cause that's something I would be talking about anyway. Yeah, well then, then next year you can talk about blow. That's right. 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 So. He said, if you missed that, he said, next year you can talk about blow. If you missed that on the mic. Hey, I, I, your talks both sound awesome. And I'll, I'll, I can't wait to check them out. I just went to Florida. You know what my favorite thing about Florida is? I like how when the pandemic hit, Florida went like, hey, you know this whole COVID thing? We're gonna we're gonna skip it. They just didn't do it. They just took a pass on it. They they acted like it was a right. <laughs> they did. You guys acted like it was a MacBook update. You're like, remind me later. Well, thanks you guys. Enjoy the conference. We'll see you later. All right, dude, your accent's awesome. I feel like you could say anything and steal my girlfriend. Where are you from? I'm from England. Oh my god, yeah. dude, I'm so jealous. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I love talking to the last two gentlemen. No idea what CM means. No idea. I don't know if they're fans of CM Punk. Um, I would guess it means like computer management. Um, that's all I can think of. But this, my, my biggest thing here is just pretending. I'm gonna do it with these gentlemen when I talk to them. I'm gonna pretend like I know exactly what they're talking about, even though I almost have no idea what any of the words mean. Let's go see what happens. I feel like Seattle either has a huge homeless problem or a gigantic camping success. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like the homeless guy goes to REI and they, the guy goes like, how long do you need the tent for? And the guy's like, just the rest of the nights? Yeah. My whole life? The nights. So, <laughs> great. and it seems like a partying event. Like a security guard came up to me and, and uh, yelled at me for not drinking. So I think that's a big part of it. it it's, it's a bit of a part of it. Okay. Yeah. Will you guys laugh at my jokes when I do the show later? You bet. Are they gonna be fun? I mean, I, I'll, have, I'll be drinking by that point. That would be great. The more you drink, the funnier I am. And if, um, if you drink enough, you'll black out and you won't even remember it. So thanks, guys. That's right. That's right, Drew. <laughs> All right, man. Take care, guys. Thank you. All right, so we've talked to pretty much everyone of importance at the conference so far. And if anybody's watching this and you're like, hey, he didn't talk to me and I'm important, we don't care about your feelings. Now, listen, we have heard that there's a gentleman over here uh, that it's he's, he's kind of a quiet guy, but he's brilliant. And I see him standing alone, so I'm going to go over there and see if I can get a quick, just get a quick quote and just see how he's feeling if you guys want to follow me. And... Um, we're gonna come right over here. And so, um, how many times have you been to the conference? Okay, this guy seems like a real asshole. Now, you know what's funny with bears? You have to make sure you know which way to respond depending on what kind of bear it is. Do you know that? Like if there's a, you know, like if it's, I don't know what kind of bear that is. If it's like a grizzly or, have you ever seen anything? What, let me tell you what happened. They called me up and they said, Jamie, do you wanna to come to a comedy show at the big, you know, conference. And I said, I'd, I'd love to do it, but I have certain demands. Like, first of all, I want everyone to wear red flannel. Okay. And second of all, I want you to find a cardboard bear and I want you to set that in the lobby. I don't care what you got to do. So I'm excited to be here. Uh, I actually flew in. I had to fly Spirit Airlines to make it here on time. And uh, I don't know if anyone's ever flown Spirit Airlines, but the ticket's like 50 bucks and then everything you do costs money. Like it cost me $70 to unfold my arms during the flight. But when it was my turn to fly, man, that was more fun than I thought it was gonna be. Hey, let's go talk to some people. We're gonna have a great time. Stick around. Yeah, so I just talked to this dude and he said, um, he said, oh my God, I can't believe you had enough courage to talk to that thing. And I go, oh, the, the bear? And he goes, no, a woman. Uh, 